we're back today we're going to do an eiffel tower tutorial um my friend requested to have this tutorial it's very simple really quick and easy and i hope you will enjoy this video all right i'm using a finger gloves in here you can get this from um amazon um so if it's tight um this one is a little tight in my fingers so i have to cut it um, a small cut to lessen that pressure in there be be very careful on when you're cutting it just not to cut your fingers um, you can also cut it first before putting it on that's one way to do it i'm using a canvas panel 9 by 12 uh, this is a repurpose that's why you can see some kind of colors i just painted over with white paint you can also use a um, gesso if you want and um, this is for beginners so there is really no specific um, colors this is just a random colors i pick um, you can choose colors that you want uh, make sure you have enough um, i'm using the parchment color but you can use the white just to kind of cover the intensity of the color of your choice if you never tried a uh, finger painting it's really fun and easy uh, just make sure you don't really blend the color the mud um, say the purple and the orange will mud together so watch out some of those got mud if you um, pay attention to the colors that i mix it's just you couldn't help it because it mixed in your gloves um, it's okay to kind of change gloves but this is just for you know beginners tutorial and I'm just doing it really quick I'm just trying to um, apply these colors in the canvas panel so just whenever there are spaces I just cover it with what color um, I think that goes well in that section um, it can also get too much paint on the gloves so you can wipe it off or change your gloves finger gloves i'm adding a titanium white because um of the intensity of the color choice i did so just trying to lessen that intensity but if you like that intensity you don't have to um, add white in there we're almost done with our background so i'm just trying to kind of blend them and add more of that turquoise to um, highlight a little bit of the section so it doesn't really look kind of pale and blah then just take out that gloves and you can throw it away this is the good thing with that um gloves you can just throw it away when you're done um, then dry your background it needs to be dry before we add the eiffel tower so it doesn't mix the color or colors that we're going to use for the eiffel tower itself you can use a one color for the eiffel tower but i'm using multiple color as well i am redrying my background um this is the only thing with fingerprint painting um the 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 thickness of those paints are not uniform so some are still wet so i'm just redrying it again i tried to sketch it using the pencil but the pencil doesn't really w work um it's uh not wet but a little kind of moist so the pencil doesn't work the lead of the pencil doesn't work um, i decided to just go ahead and use the gray blue to kind of sketch the tower um if you're not comfortable of doing a freehand drone um, i suggest to have a tracing paper you can um practice as well so practice in a separate paper if you want to try that one before putting it in your canvas 
Um, if you're confident, you can use the darkest color you have, uh, say the black. But I don't. I'm not really comfortable with the black quite yet. That's why I use the blue gray, and then I just um, added the black on the section that I think they need to. I am layering the color turquoise, black, blue, gray. Um, have the titanium white handy. So in case if it's too much, you think it's too much, just, you know, add it in there. So I'm adding those rails on the Eiffel Tower now. So let's zoom in and let's see. Again, um, this is for beginners tutorial. So not too much details in this one. Really, really quick. Just all those um, diagonal lines. That's all you have to do. No specific details in there. Um, those are just to show that, yeah, those are the rails of our Eiffel Tower. Our brain will automatic see those later on when we're done with our painting. So just keep doing those for the first layer. I used the blue gray. Then I'm, I did the shadowing in the ground in there. <clears throat> just a mixture of cobalt blue, blue gray, um, turquoise, and titanium white. And then another layer. I just keep adding layer to the Eiffel Tower itself. So just kind of look back and then try to kind of add multiple color in different section not just one solid color but if you want a solid color that's fine as well um, I suggest if you have a colorful background um, do a darker color for the Eiffel Tower if you want just one color I think I added like about four or five layers on this Eiffel Tower. Just keep adding um, dark light colors and stuff like that. So it's just a repetition and then highlights of the rail and then the shadowing of the rail. So just keep looking back and then try to um, add layer. We're almost done with our um, Eiffel Tower. That's that's it. That's pretty simple. So now I'm adding some outline, black outline, so you really see it and pops the colors and the the um the Eiffel Tower itself. You can see it well. Um, this is just like a rails I'm trying to do in here. If you look at the or if you look at a picture of the Eiffel Tower, it's this section in here in the middle is like a um, rails. We are done. It's a simple tutorial again. Eiffel Tower, colorful ones. You can do a black one for a night in Paris kind of. Thank you for joining me again today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Hopefully we'll see you again in my future video. Don't forget to check out the link below if you want to purchase some of my artwork. Goodbye.